Man, I go to sleep for one time, one night, and I miss it all. Uh, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Damone, and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Uh, today, this is information regarding the upcoming World Arena update. So we're going to check this out together. Uh, I know you guys have been waiting for this. I told you guys that it probably would be coming soon. I just didn't anticipate this soon. So um, I am going to be streaming the live stream today, the official Epic 7 live stream today around 4 o'clock. So make sure you guys are there for that. Outside of that, guys, we're here to talk about the dev notes that dropped this morning at 2 a.m. However, I was not at my computer because today is Daddy Daughter Day. <laughs> but uh, we just saw this here. So it says, hello, heirs. Uh, this is Epic 7. Uh, the day for our heirs have been waiting. Excuse me. The day that our heirs have been waiting for is almost here. From December 26, 2019, you will be able to participate in World Arena. So let's go ahead and look at this video. Um, again, they are going to be probably showcasing this um, as well on um, the live stream. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So it looks like they got the pick band system. Uh, you can choose your strategy with the pick and band system. Uh, so it's looking like Summoner's War. I like the, the background. Take your enemies down before they take you down. Kill them. Now, for those of you guys who don't understand exactly what RTA is, uh, it's just real-time arena. So, you know, if you're like, yo, D, I don't like your hairline. And I'm like, well, I don't like your neck. <laughs> we can fight about it, all right, in real time. So as soon as this drops here on the 26th, day after Christmas, apparently, uh, we will uh, probably start hosting uh, community RTA streams. So we'll start streaming these, having a good time, talking trash, maybe turning it up, having fun. But uh, they said the video clip here was taken from the test server uh, and may be different upon release. Airs will be able to select different languages upon release as well. Uh, the World Arena is new arena content where Epic 7 Airs can have real-time PvP battles. Airs on Korea, Asia, Global, and Europe servers will now be able to show their skill uh, to all the airs around the world. We hope that with the addition of this new content, our airs will form new strategies and utilize more heroes. The World Arena season, uh, well, preseason 1, preseason 2, before the regular season begins, Preseason 1 will begin on December 26th. We will listen to the opinions of our heirs during both preseasons and use them to make improvements before the start of the regular season. So, listen, <clears throat> with this coming out, guys, uh, the big thing is voice your concerns probably to your content creators, okay? And then have your content creators coordinate with the community managers <laughs> so that way they can get this up there. Um, and get the information across uh, probably in an orderly fashion so that way you know like if you can get 6,000 gold in arena y'all ain't like losing your minds you know what I'm saying I doubt that that's going to be the case the world arena is especially if they do it like SW like I said before the reward's about to be insane um, so with that being said let's keep it just keep it pushing so preseason one uh, world arena will be open 24 hours every day excluding maintenance periods uh, allowing our heirs to participate as much as possible additionally no currency will be required to enter that's crazy all right so heirs on the korea asia global and europe servers who are account rank 60 and above can participate in world arena as no currency will be required to enter preseason one no rewards will be awarded for world arena so Break it, test it, you know, see what it's all about. So it says, please note that after the end of preseason one, the World Arena participation method and rewards may be adjusted and applied to preseason two, which will probably happen. And by season one, there probably will be rewards and currency. So just be ready for that. Unless they intend to use the same arena currency, uh, which I doubt. I highly doubt it because there will probably be exclusive rewards for specific ranks in RTA. All right. So tapping the arena icon will um, or on the lobby players may enter either. Ooh, yo, let's go. All right. So we got a new uh, screen here. Any new characters? Any new characters? Any new characters? Nope. Hold on, wait. Who's this dude on the right? Oh, it's Vildred. Okay. I was getting excited there for a second. Uh, so, so yeah. So this video clip was taken. Uh, this is this a video? No, that's not a video. <laughs> All right. So that wasn't the video either. All right. So in the world arena lobby, players can view the team that they used in the previous battle. 
battle. Battle. Uh, their World Arena ranking, World Arena grade, and their victory and defeat stats. When you tap on the ready for battle action, you will be matched with an heir with whom you have similar victory points and stats. You will not be matched continuously with the same opponent. Okay, so you guys ain't got to worry about that. Now, in the World Arena, uh, heirs will find a battle opponent regardless of the server. Uh, therefore, as most heroes and artifacts have not yet been released on the JP server, World Arena for JP server will be released at a later date. So JP is not out. For the same reason, heroes and artifacts that were not released on EU, such as the Guilty Gear hero and artifacts, cannot be used. So no Portrait of the Saviors, uh, no Biken, no Dizzy, you know, stuff like that. So once the matching process is complete, heirs will be able to see the ID and World Arena ranking of their opponent. Therefore, thereafter, uh, players can select and also ban the heroes to participate in the battle. All right, so you guys can see this here. Uh, see below for more information. It says match heroes will take turns to select five heroes. Players will then be able to select an opponent's hero to ban from the match. Uh, players will replace the heroes in the team. Players have 30 seconds to complete each step. So f also from what I understand, uh, you can't play with the same heroes that your opponent is using. Okay. So be cognizant of that as well. Uh, the heir that will be able to select the first hero will be chosen at random. Uh, the heir will be able to select one hero first, then the opponent will be able to select two heroes, and so on. Um, and then it'll just alternate. Uh, understand that each pick round is timed, so you don't have an unlimited amount of time. This keeps uh, the RTA system uncongested. Um, this is basically SWRTA. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go. So, uh, heirs cannot select the same hero. For example, one player will be able to select Silverblade Armenta, while the other player selects Armenta because these are two different heroes. However, players will not be able to select Lorena and Commander Lorena as they are the same hero. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, once both heirs, once both heirs have selected five heroes, they can then ban a hero from the opponent's list. This process will be conducted simultaneously for both heroes, and the banned hero designated by each heir will be revealed once both heirs have completed their selection. If you do not ban a hero within the time limit, one of your opponent's heroes will be randomly banned. Make sure you, you know, do your ban on purpose, okay? In World Arena, each hero's turn will have a time limit. Um, if the time limit is exceeded, then the AI will automatically use the skill. Uh, while Protector's Punishment will not be active like Standard Arena, the World Arena will, after a certain number of times, increase the amount of damage received by all heroes as well as decrease the amount of health that can be recovered. So this is just to cancel stall out missions. Okay? Uh, a total of 9 levels will be applied for this rule. As the level increases, the amount of damage inflicted will increase and the amount of health that can be recovered will be decreased. I sense a bug happening there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So these additional rules uh, are being carefully considered to prevent very long battles in the world arena that may fatigue our heirs. Yeah, they, they got to keep this quick. After preseason 1 and preseason 2, they'll make adjustments and add additional or to the additional rules uh, to ensure that world arena battles end after an appropriate amount of time. So again, preseason 1 is probably testing phase. Preseason 2 is then testing currency and stuff. Um, and then season 1 is where the stuff happens. If you guys want an idea of what kind of awards or rewards you can get uh sw how they did it was they added like skins and frames and all kinds of stuff that you literally only had access to via rta um and then if you are a top rank and you then you could buy like these super duper exclusive skins and yo these skins were lit for some reason they're like super lit like to the point where if you weren't top rank you weren't getting them so it was a lot, of it, I, and they were good to the point where it gave a lot of incentive to actually want to participate. Unless you're just not a PvP person, then, well, you know, then it just doesn't matter to you, you know? But just as a standard arena, once you have enough souls, you can use soul burn uh, during your hero's turn. So souls will be a thing here. Hello, Assassin Sid. Uh, heirs can check the number of souls that the opponent uh, possess, or, yeah, possesses by checking the section in the health bar. Uh, when the opponent uses a soul burn effect... Uh, it will be displayed with a separate effect so that you, it is easily di distinguishable from a standard attack. Knowing the combat readiness uh, and amount of souls an opponent has will give you a strategic advantage. Uh, we hope that our heirs will enjoy uh, deploying various strategies using features like Soul Burn. So, World Arena Operation Plan. As stated earlier, the World Arena season will begin, or preseason will begin on December 26, 2019. The regular season will begin once preseason 2 is completed. 
during preseason one, which is planned to last for about two to four weeks. Heirs will be able to participate in World Arena with no restrictions other than account rank requirement. During this time, we hope to receive valuable feedback. This is where you give them the information. And preseason two, which will take place after the end of preseason one, will last for about three months. And then, like I said, in the three-month phase, this is probably where they'll, where they'll be testing, like, uh, you know, like I said, rewards and stuff like that to see how that's going to work out. And then in the season, um, that's where I, I would say that you guys should probably anticipate a very specific amount of entries. So, like in SW, they did 30 entries a day. You can do RTA 30. Oh, excuse me. First, they had placement battles. They had placement battles where it would determine your rank. And then after the placement battles, then you would literally go into uh, regular uh, fights and you had 30 you could do a day. And then from winning fights, you, you got tokens uh, that you can then use to buy stuff out of the RTA shop. All right. So be, be ready for that. So let's see what the, yeah so it says right here actually <laughs> so with the start of the regular season players will be able to acquire new currency based on the outcome of the battle uh and this new currency can be used to purchase honor rewards with an exclusive shop d just read the damn read read the text d read the text <laughs> if you just read the text they're saying what you about to say all right, but anyway, furthermore, uh, we will continuously update World Arena uh, with different game modes, such as friendly matches where heirs can play against their friends, and event matches where specific rules are applied to the match. <sighs> y'all ready? Oh, we about to have some fun with this, y'all. So, with the introduction of World Arena, we're preparing to host various events offline. Uh, we ask that all heirs, uh, we ask all of our heirs, there's for their support and encouragement. And we also hope that you will enjoy creating new strategies with the addition of this new PvP content. So, let's go. I'm hyped. We're going to do community streams. We're going to host RTA uh, events. We might even do mini tournaments where we can host. Um, so, I'll hold the cash if we do cash tournaments, uh, like, like a $5 buy-in or something, or like a community or if we raise for a charity or something. But I'll hold the cash. Um, and then however we split up the prize pool, we'll set it up, uh, especially when they start introducing these friend tournaments. This is not, this is not going to be for a while cause we won't have the friend battles and stuff. Um, but this is something that, that I, I'm super duper hyped about. And now like end game players literally have something to do for a very long time. Uh, because once RTA comes on the 26th, it's literally day one again, cause now everybody has to fi figure out strategies. They have to figure out team comps. Um, because the thing about RTA is, can you practice what other people do? Sure. Um, but the hard part about RTA is that if you don't have the stats that that a particular player has, you can't really copy. Um, so it's just like if somebody bans a particular hero that your team composition is relying on, um, it really tests your wits and your ability to make decisions on the fly. And I'm super duper hyped for this content. I think that a lot of characters that... <clears throat> you didn't think were, was valid will be very very valid in rta and you guys will start to see that as things start to move forward so anyway guys um i will talk more about this you guys can definitely expect rta videos strategies tips tricks hints um plays mistakes failures um content all, all that stuff uh, but i'm super hyped for this content but Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.